you are looking at an important artifact of a dangerous time in our nation's history. For over 40 years, our country faced an existential threat posed by conflict with another superpower possessing a weapon of unprecedented destructiveness. During that time, just a few people stood between us and the specter of nuclear Armageddon. This is their story. When the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor in 1941, they forced the United States into a world war that was already raging around the globe. On the European continent, the Soviet Union was already at war with Germany. The United States and our allies soon formed an uneasy alliance with the Soviets to fight our common enemies. But that alliance would not survive the short-lived peace that followed the defeat of Germany. The Soviets were led by Joseph Stalin, who professed that a global socialist revolution of the working classes was needed to end the excesses of capitalism. However, Stalin was a ruthless, murderous, and dictatorial leader. By the time World War II began, Stalin had already starved and murdered millions of his own people to consolidate power and achieve his goals. When World War II ended with the unconditional surrender of Japan, the inherent conflict in the different U.S. and Soviet political and economic systems soon led to what became referred to as the Cold War. In 1949, as the Cold War was just beginning, the Soviet Union shocked the world by exploding their first nuclear bomb. The opposing nations were now both armed with nuclear weapons. Then, in 1956, while addressing Western leaders, the Soviet leader vowed, we will bury you. One year later, the Soviets launched the world's first artificial satellite, Sputnik. The American public was caught completely off guard as the specter of nuclear bombs raining down on our cities from unstoppable intercontinental ballistic missiles was suddenly a clear and present danger. Our nation responded with a program of the highest priority to develop the technology to field a fleet of 41 nuclear-powered submarines. Those submarines would form the third and most survivable component of a nuclear triad consisting of nuclear weapons delivered by aircraft, land-based missiles, and submarines. Those submarines were to patrol hidden beneath the oceans carrying intercontinental ballistic missiles. The mission of the Triad was to prevent war by guaranteeing that the Soviets would be faced with Armageddon should they ever launch a nuclear strike against our homeland. Much of the technology to launch those undersea missiles was developed at Mare Island, and seven of those 41 ballistic missile submarines were built where you are standing. You are looking at the sale of the USS Mariano G. Vallejo which was the last of the ballistic missile submarines built here and was launched on what was termed Vallejo's Greatest Day. The Mariano G. Vallejo sailed the oceans of the world for 29 years, always ready to launch her deadly weapons within minutes of receipt of the command to do so. This monument is dedicated to those who built and sailed her. The sail rests in the same spot where the submarine was built in the 1960s. The Mariano G. Vallejo conducted 83 deterrence patrols traveling hundreds of thousands of miles before this sail returned here to its place of birth. The Cold War ended in 1991 when the Soviet Union collapsed under the weight of its own failed economy. The nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine fleet had succeeded in their role as the most important component of the United States nuclear triad. No nuclear weapon was ever fired in anger during the Cold War. Stop in the Mare Island Museum to learn more about the Cold War and to see a mock-up of this submarine's control room built with the actual components from this important ship.